Hi, I'm the Glute Guy from Brad Contreras, and I just wanted to film a quick video to show you guys how I conduct my EMG research. EMG stands for electromyography, and the first step is to get uh, electrodes and place them on your body parallel with the, the muscle fibers of the muscle you're trying to record. So, I normally don't wear spandex, in fact this is the only time anyone will ever see me in spandex, but this electrode is on my vastus lateralis. This one here is on my, my adductors. This one, my biceps femoris. And then I have a hole cut out in the spandex to measure my gluteus maximus. And then here's the ground. So that's the first step is placing the, the electrodes where you want them. Uh, the next step is attaching the electrodes to the myotrace itself. Okay, now as you can see, I have all the electrodes and wires hooked up and taped onto my leg with some slack so the electrodes don't get pulled. Glutes, uh, biceps femoris, vastus lateralis, adductors, and the Myotrace 400 is turned on. Now the next step is getting the software system set up. So all I do is I click on the software system now I choose which muscles I want to record. So the first pair of electrodes I have hooked up to my glute max. The next pair I have hooked up to my vastus lateralis. The next pair to my adductors. And the next pair to my biceps femoris. So now this software knows which muscles are uh, being recorded. And then I'm going to choose over here the processing. So um, I'm going to choose uh, rectification, smoothing, and amplitude normalization. Now I don't have to do anything to the data once I record it. It knows how to do it. Now this signal right here from the myotrace is picked up by a Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth records the signals and then uh, all I have to do is choose the, the interval for the data that I want. Um, so now the, the next step is to record MVC, which is right here. MVC stands for Maximum Voluntary Contraction. That's, that's what we're going to do next. Okay, now we need to record MVC for each muscle group. Now I'm just going to show you one of those positions, but each muscle group has its own position you need to get in to test your Maximum Voluntary Contraction. For the glutes, it happens to be the quadruped hip extension position. So I'm going to get in that position. I squeeze my glute as hard as I can possibly squeeze. I'm flexing my butt as hard as I can. And the software is picking that up. So it's going to use that MVC to rank every exercise that I do to that maximum voluntary contraction. Okay, so here's what it looks like when I record MVC. I click on MVC. It picks up the connection. I squeeze my glutes as hard as I can, which you can see right there. I hit record. It's recording that. And that's as hard as I can squeeze them. And I hit finish. Now it asks me to store it. So as you can see, there's the maximum voluntary contraction for the glutes. And now I'm going to hit start and I can start recording different exercises. Okay, so now we're going to test a few different exercises. The first one I'm going to do is the full squat. Now, I have 275 pounds on the bar. That's around my 8 rep max, so I'm going to keep this, uh, ex this uh, study consistent and use my 8 rep max for every exercise. So, here's the squat now. This is sending signals which is being picked up by a Bluetooth to the software program. So, here's the squat. Okay, so this is the report it gives me for the 275 pound full squat. This here shows the glute activity, mean and peak. Mean would be the average activation throughout the exercise and peak would be the highest uh, point of tension that it reached. Here's the vastus lateralis, adductors, and biceps femoris. Now, uh, I'll give the numbers at the end of this video, the exact numbers. 
Okay, now I have 185 pounds on the bar and I'm going to do a, a Bulgarian squat, or as Mike Boyle likes to call it, a rear foot elevated split squat. Again, this is around my 80 at max. Okay, and this is the report that we get for the 185 pound Bulgarian squat. Here's the glute activity, mean and peak, uh, vastus lateralis, adductors, and biceps femoris. And I'll go over these numbers at the end of the video. Alright, now we're going to test the deadlift. I have 405 on the bar. It's around my eight rep max. So let's, let's test the deadlift right now. Okay, so here's the report for the 405 pound deadlift, glutes, quads, adductors, biceps femoris. Alright, now we're going to test the single leg RDL. I have 90 pound dumbbells, so 180 pounds total. So this is the report for the 90 pound single leg RDL, glute mean and peak, fastest lateralis mean and peak, adductors mean and peak, and biceps femoris mean and peak. I'll have the exact numbers at the end of this video. Okay, now we're going to test the hip thrust. I have 405 pounds. It's about my A-rep max. Okay, this is the report for the 405 pound hip lift, glutes, vastus lateralis, adductors, biceps femoris. Okay, now I'm going to test the band uh, scorcher hip thrust. Okay, this is the report for the blue band scorcher hip thrust, glute, mean and peak vastus lateralis, adductors, and biceps femoris. Now let's analyze the results. The full squat gives us the most mean and peak quadriceps activity. The conventional deadlift gives us the most mean and peak adductor activity as well as the most peak hamstring activity. The 405 pound hip thrust gives us the most mean hamstring activity and the band scorcher hip thrust gives us the most mean and peak glute activity and ties for the most mean quadriceps activity. Now when you analyze the biomechanics of these different lifts it makes sense when comparing it to the EMG results. The reason why the band scorcher hip thrust works so well for the glutes is your shoulders and feet are elevated up onto a, a, a platform and the bands come from down low so you have to squeeze your glutes as hard as possible to push your hips forward against that resistance and when you do the exercise you literally feel your glutes almost ripping off the bone but unless you have a scorcher there's really no way to replicate that exercise so the next best thing for the glutes would be to use the 405 pound hip thrust with your shoulders elevated onto a bench uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this sheds some light on EMG research and I hope it inspires more people to utilize uh, EMG research. Um, as strength coaches and trainers we always rely on the researchers but there's no reason why we can't be doing research ourselves. As you can see from this video it's really really easy. So you can get one of these MyoTrace 400s from Naraxin and their website is naraxin.com.